Both rods still rotate. Like, wow. Holy shit. How fast is that? Another day at 8 p.m. You know what time it is, boy. Let's go have a look. There's uh, Big Timmy's big block just sitting there, waiting to go on the engine dyno still. Fuck, this thing is huge. Yeah, this block is from Sohem. So you can see shirt that I'm just wearing just here. I'll put a uh, link down below in the description as to where you can get these. But this is, you can see, Gen 4 6 liter. This is an iron block. This is an LY6 block. So this is going to take a lot more punishment. And uh, thanks to uh, Luke over there at Sohan, he's really looked after us with this. So if you have any, he even has heaps of stuff for C10s, like that's his main bread and butter, along with all these LSs and everything, and pulling in iron blocks from the States. But man, this thing's awesome. He gave us a great one. So again, link in description if you want to jump on their Facebook and everything. That's where, where I mostly deal with him. But this thing's come up wicked. I've already acid washed it a bit. We'll probably paint over it, make it black, but it looks great. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, everything looks fine on it. Yeah, fuck, yeah. it's perfect. Oh, and awesome. Yeah, like I'll just own it and deck it. Deck it, put your main studs in it, own it. Sweet! And that's, that's all good. Sweet. So what do you think actually happened to it? Uh, I don't know, man. They're powder metal rolled, they're pretty brittle. If I didn't trust you and Timmy enough, I would just lie. I would say that so it's been hydraulic, which bends the rod, bends yeah. the rod, then yeah. breaks the rod. But like, you look at the crank, all the bearings that come out of it are brand new. Both rods still rotate. Like, wow. There's no yeah. wrong, there's no, it hasn't spun a bearing or anything like that. It's just broken the rod. <laughs> That's insane. But as to exactly why, it's hard to tell. I've seen stock rods make a thousand horsepower. Yeah. Not have a problem, but yeah, this thing wasn't running that great the last two times you had it out with different yeah. fuel system issues. And that whether that played a part in it, possibly would have been detonating pretty hard. But in saying that, the rest of it, like it literally is brand new, but the broken rod. Yeah. And one piston's fucking disintegrated because the piston rod smashed it to pieces. But like you could put the other six rods and pistons straight in another engine. You could undo those rods, change your reluctor wheel because it's beaten up, and put it in another engine. Like, what, even that crank? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was because it was so no. bashed on the bottom that it'd, no, still, it'd be gone. you just all the dings and shit, put a new reluctor wheel on. Honestly, if you had to, you could fix that block. Wow. Roll the patch and put it in it, a couple of sleeves and it'd go again. That's Holy what shit. That's what I mean. Aside from the factory rod breaking, there's nothing wrong with this fucking thing. Not wow. mechanically anyway. But, oh, well. Uh, either, yeah. either way now, it's going to be a much, much well, stronger setup. Get rid of every GM part, except for... Uh, Spare head castings in the crank. Yeah. But there's no, and I know that the heads and the block will both support way more than what we're going to be doing. So how, how wild is that? You literally like cannot even say why I let go. It just let go. So it wasn't our fault. We didn't screw it up. It just decided to let go. But either way, we're going to be putting incredible stuff in this new engine. All the stuff over here. I, I probably won't pull it out just because it's so hard to get to it all. Bunch of forged goodies. And it's going to be a lot stronger this time. So this time we should make easily a thousand horsepower um, and put the limiter up too. Man, I can't stop looking at this thing. Just everything about Tim's engine is just next level. Insane. Crazy. on it um, no. and then we upgrade the gudgeon pin to a thicker material a U on the front number four so rings are still in a JE box rings are in a JE box so it's still safe to say you can still call it a JE piston okay, cool. yeah. yeah yeah cool there's another company called Autotech we got Autotech and Race Tech same yeah. company same thing Auto techs are their shelf entry level forge pistons and race techs are the customs and the high end race pistons. Sweet. But well, JE have so cool. taken a whole bunch of features of their race pistons and stuck them into their everyday shelf pistons. So the small narrow squirts, the inboard pin bosses, the narrow ring sets, 
the coating on the skirt. So they've taken a lot of stuff on their race technology, figured out how to do it efficiently and affordably, and stuck it in a fish and you can go buy it for sure. Wow. They look freaking awesome, too. Yeah, no, no, they're, they're neat. Wow, they're so light. I yep. would have expected that to weigh a ton. No. Compared to your old ones, they would. Your yeah. It's not a pretty basic thing, but first, that doesn't mean there's any wrong with them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fine. So you've got all these struts here that make them really strong up the corner, so they yeah, figured cool. out ways to make this thing really strong and get rid of a bunch of those. And then, like, with the rod, like, is that, like, an I beam, H beam? No, like, it's a H beam, so. A H beam stronger? No, an I beam generally is the ultimate in Conrod, but um, the same thing again, there's two versions of I beam. You know, yeah. Streetcar, level I beam, which are good for 600 horsepower, and then you step up to a H beam. You've got other manly door rod called H Tough, but that these two ribs extend over the top, and they're good for 1500 horsepower. They also come with 15 hours of horsepower price tag. Yes. Yeah. And heaps of guys use Cali's Comstar. People love the Cali's name just because of what it is. But this is their entry level rod. You know, I've used Scats and these Eagles and done the same thing I've done with a Cali's Comstar. But to be honest, the reason we ended up with Cali's Comstars in this build was nothing more than right now. That is the only 6125 HP kind rod I could buy in Australia. So oh, wow. That's oh, yeah, I was actually. And I'm went... more than happy to put them in. It's not like yeah. it's my second choice. It was just yeah, yeah, yeah. start ringing around. You have three choices that you know will work, see who's the cheapest, and unfortunately they were the only option. There was nothing else. I was actually quite surprised, like when you sent the photo of, of everything or like in shop already. I, yeah. I thought we were like with everything, it was going to be yeah. a fight to get it all. Uh, just intake valves, that's the problem at the moment. So. I will get them, it's just going to be. It's going to be fun to get them. Out. Yeah. So with these, would you still use an ARP rod bolt? Or would yeah, you they take another ARP bolt in. Oh, so that is ARP. ARP. Okay, cool. If you look at the head of them, they've got ARP 2000 in them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the entry level bolt is an 8740, that's a 2000, so it's a quick and upgraded rod bolt. Yeah. And then the K1 tank, whether you use the Manly, the K1, the Scat, an Eagle, to be honest, in my opinion, for what you're doing, they'll all do the job. Yeah. Very good. But as you can even like, see from the from the last crank, it still yeah. still did the job. Yeah, so a forged crank now will be a little bit better. You could take the next step to either a billet uh, Howard's crank or a billet Reaper crank by uh, by Manly, a uh, Cali's Dragon Slayer or something like that. But same thing, double the price. You know, yeah. Not trying to build an engine to make two and a half thousand horsepower. No, that's that's for Tim over there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you got to you know you definitely got to make a um, a choice of between strength and advice and you know dedicated to what your customer wants to do it's no point putting it you know at kelly's um two and a half three thousand dollar crankshaft and they're only going to make four or five hundred dollars yeah exactly but and no, this will be good this will do the job yeah like and you said your stock crank did so there ain't no reason this isn't done. exactly yeah and at the end of the day like burnout cars are just fucking just torture yes. like so yes, they are. yeah it's just breaking shit for the sake of breaking shit. <laughs> I'd really rather you guys didn't, but... <laughs> I would have thought at least that, like, it'd have a basic balance to it, and then you'd only have to rebalance it for if you're going for yeah, well, a much larger only, stroke. They normally set them to about, uh, I think these ones are about 18, 1800 bob weight. Yeah. Or 1850. And then you just got to adjust your neck, because the rotating assembly could be... 1700 so you need to take that middle out of the yeah because i like because aaron was saying this is pretty much still standard stroke more or less i would have thought you'd be like you could get away with not having to balance it much but i could understand if this the piston was huge or it weighed more than what i say a factory option would be i could understand that you'd need to do it for that heaps there's too many different combos so that's why manufacturer will set a bob weight and you can adjust from there is there any combination where it would just work out of the box? Neighborhood be the name, neighborhood no crib. 
Red ass coke case L's on the deals, that's brose Got no pay, don't no say Okay, this the news, tell them read it Been the one since the fetus Don't sleep on me, Tempur-Pedic That's a no, no, no Spend the dope for no reason Got a ball head, Mr. Cleaner Heard the big bags overseas then We gon' go, go, go So that's going to wrap up our time at 8 p.m. Huge shout out to Brad and Aaron because they both took out some time of the day to chat to us and uh, run us over with everything. So, man, I can't wait to have this thing together. It's going to be so freaking sick. But uh, until now, I'm going to uh, head back home and have some dinner because I was here for longer than I thought I was going to be. But, man, that was so sick, like getting to see how it's balanced, why it's balanced, what they use to balance it, having Aaron run us through. How crazy is it that, like, the engine pretty much just died. So I don't know yet if you were able to hear him, but he pretty much said because the standard Gen 4 rod is just like a, a powdered metal rod, they can be a bit weak. And like, it, it, it could have been that we hydroed it, but like he would have said, he said that if we hydroed the motor, so hydro locking it, for the people that don't know, that would be if there's fuel within the cylinders when you go to start it, uh, it'll build up so much compression there is a good chance it is going to bend a rod once it's bent that rod It's a ticking time bomb. It's gonna go at whatever chance um, That could be One skid that could be just starting it that could be anything but once you've hydroed it you most likely bent a rod It's all over from there kind of thing, but I mean almost every time we started the car. It's been on camera and it, we, Like he said the the telltale sign if it doesn't actually completely the hydro completely lock up um, to the point where like the thing's rock solid stuck then uh, it'd be like instead while it's turning over instead of like turning over smoothly it'll it'll really chug then it'll go faster again I feel like the only time that's ever happened because I was so pedantic with it was kind of brash nuts but that was what June last year so nine ten months ago he said no 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 that wouldn't have been it like if it would have been within the last two fire ups that it like that's how long they normally last if any if anything so definitely wasn't that uh, but normally if someone came in and said what happened to that engine he would have said that probably hydro it at one point but as far as i'm concerned we didn't so he said it literally just looks like they're they're a bit of a fragile rod and it looks like it just let go but we have some insane parts going into it we have cali's rods je pistons uh, a k1 forged crank in an ly6 block like this thing will be mint and it'll make a thousand horsepower Alrighty, guys that's where i'm gonna wrap up today's video huge shout out to the guys from apm huge shout out from the guys from uh, sohem and man i'm so keen for this build Alrighty, guys i'll catch you in the next one catch you later see you later take it easy Peace. you bitching and bugging there's nothing that we got in common i've been out grinding and hustling investing this paper got tired